What is up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know, basically everything that I know about the unsafe pointer in goal line. But guys, before we continue, I want to do some a little self-promotion because there's no real sponsor except me for this channel. Uh, for the people that don't know, I'm creating the full-time GoDev program, which is basically a course why not? I call it a program specifically designed for people that are willing to be professionally active as a Golang engineer, right? I took a lot of time in it and I'm st it's not 100% complete yet. That's why it's pre-sale and you get 30% off. We, we basically uh, cover everything you need to know, right? So we, for the people that don't know Go yet or basically uh, are not familiar enough with Go, I'm doing the Golang introduction, a complete chapter about syntax and all special tricks you could do with it. We cover mastering concurrency, we building APIs, complete real life projects and the flagship is going to be building microservices we're going to make a complete traffic uh tolling calculator system uh, with apache kafka and all that stuff gateways metrics prometheus all the stuff you need um to know because that's what you're going to do if you're going to be professionally active most of the time you're going to build these small services or microservices in go and my treat to you you're going to get the complete blockchain from scratch series for free it's not the one that's on youtube it's a complete new one that uses the utxo model just like bitcoin right actually that's what we're going to build and of course uh, i'm also have a complete chapter on how to land a job very important your resume get the profile the whole shebang needs to be in order i was a cto so i know what these guys are looking for, right? It's almost done. Basically, uh, everything is already online except um, the microservices uh, needs to have some more work, but for the rest, everything is already online so you can already learn. All right, that's uh, it. Enough uh, self-promotion. Okay, cool. Unsafe pointer, first of all, uh, we're gonna debunk a myth here and that's basically the unsafe pointer has nothing to do with, garbi but with garbage collection. Right. A lot of people think, oh, an unsafe pointer is going to step away from the garbage collector. That's not true. Right. Uh, the only reason what an unsafe the only thing what an unsafe pointer does is step away from the Golang type system. Right. It it lets you basically do unsafe things. And hey, I was young before, so I also did so unsafe things. And with unsafe things come trouble. Right. It not always, but hey, there is a risk involved. Right. Uh, so basically, let's do some, I'm going to cover two uh, things to show you what it can do, right? <sighs> Take a deep breath. So first of all, we're going to say why, and that's going to be 10, right? And why is going to be an integer, right? Just a simple integer. So if we do, for example, an FMT, print LN here, print LN, and uh, we're going to say, for example, a uh, reflect type of this Y, and we're going to do a go and may not go here real quick. Then we're going to see it's the type end, right? Of course. What's the catch here? Well, let's make this an unsafe pointer. So we're going to say why PTR is going to be an unsafe pointer uh, just like this. And we're going to say it's going to be the unsafe pointer of why. Um, I think we need to do this memory address, right? We're going to take the, the memory address. We're going to take the pointer of this uh, integer and we're going to say from now on, this is going to be an unsafe pointer. All right, so let's uh, print this I pointer out, right? Just to give you guys uh, some uh, context. Boom. This beautiful thingy here is going to be the pointer, the unsafe pointer of 10 of this integer, correct. So uh, the problem basically here is that what if we want to dereference our pointer, right? That's actually the main trick. Because in Golang, you can basically dereference just by doing this, right? If you do this, you're going to dereference your pointer. But we can't. Why? Because this is an unsafe pointer. And we step away from the type system. So we can actually say, yo, whatever this, we, we can cast this to whatever we want. But let's cast this first to an int so we can see this. So to do that, we need to do some witchcraft, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to cast this to a pointer to an int. And we, well, yeah. And we're going to say, uh, that's going to be brackets. <clears throat> and I think we need to do, can we do Y pointer here? <clears throat> I think so, right? If you print this, we're going to still see an address, right? Uh, what's going on here? Go run main.go, boom. We're going to still see this address. So now we can dereference it. You see? Boom. Because what we... What we're telling the type system right now is that yo, Golang, this thing, this I pointer here, is from now on, that's going to be a pointer to an int. 
And now we can just dereference it, right? And if we do a go run main.go, you're gonna see it's 10, perfectly fine, right? This is a good house, dad, mom, whatever, right? But we could also say something, yo, this is not a pointer to an int, this is going to be, I don't know, a pointer to a float 64, for example, right? And if we do then, go run main.go, then we're gonna have some <laughs> some garbage, right? It's basically complete and safe. It's trash, right? You could also do, uh, for example, it's gonna be a pointer to a string uh, and print that out. If you're lucky, maybe you have a string, who knows, right? It's not then, nothing is in here. You could even do, you could do whatever you want, right? To get the point, right? So that, that's why it's unsafe because you are gonna decide what it's gonna be, right? And yeah, that could be unsafe, right? Okay, like JavaScript. And safe. So basically, uh, that's the first thing, right? You could, this is an unsafe pointer, very simple. Uh, you basically make an unsafe pointer out of a pointer and then uh, you cast it to whatever you want. That's an unsafe pointer. The next thing we could do, and that's a little bit more interesting, uh, and that's going to be pointer arithmetic, right? What's pointer arithmetic? You should already know that, but let's cover this, right? So we're gonna say the array it's going to be a slice of integers, right? And we're gonna say one, two, three, uh, three, please, four, five, and maybe six, right? Um, six integers. And then we're gonna say that the array, PTR, is going to be an unsafe uh, pointer of array. Uh, can we do, do I need to do this? I think so. Boom, just like that. So now we have basically an array, an unsafe pointer that starts basically at the first element of the array, right? The, it, it is a pointer that starts at the first uh, memory slot of the array in contiguous memory or whatever you want to say this. And um, let's say we want to have um, the next element, right? We want to have two or three or five. What you could do, let's, let's start with next, with the next element. We could do something like um, witchcraft. So we're going to say a pointer to an int. Why do we need this? Because our array is basically, that's why it's already unsafe, right? Because you need to cast the type of what's inside your array. In this case, it's ints, right? But you, like, 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 again, like the previous example, you can make this a string and whatever, and it's not gonna work, right? It's gonna bork out, it's gonna panic, it's gonna do nasty things. So we're gonna say here, um, next is gonna be pointer int, then we need to say unsafe.pointer. Man, this, this font is huge on my keyboard, and ah, yeah, 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 excuses. Then we're gonna say unsafe pointer, we're gonna make this an uint ptr of um, array ptr, right? And then I think we need this one, two, three brackets, maybe this, and then I'm gonna say plus, and we're gonna say one times, why? Because in pointer arithmetic, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift, we're gonna sum um, the memory address of, uh, basically going to, take the size of the element in our array and sum it up, right? That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna say unsafe dot uh, type of basically. And that's gonna be the type of, and it's basically a type of an int, right? So it's basically also the type of the first element of our array, right? Of course, we have too many brackets and all that shenanigans. Is that true? Yes, no, it's fine, right? Uh, type of not declared. That's because it should be like this or this type of not declared. I don't believe this to be honest. FMT println next. Can we do this? Go run main go unsafe type of. It's gonna be my bad. Uh, unsafe. What the hell is going on? Is it reflect type of? Oh, no, 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 I meant, oh, 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 I'm so sorry, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be unsafe, it's not type of, man, it's size of, what am I doing? It's gonna be unsafe size of, okay, hey, my bad. So it's gonna be unsafe size of, which basically gives us the size of the, of an element in our array, right? And we're gonna just sum that up. Why do we times one? We actually don't need to do that for the next array, right? Because it's one times size of, so we could do this, and it's gonna work perfectly fine. So if we do uh, go run main.go, then we're gonna have a pointer, which basically points to, Two, exactly. So to dereference that, we can just do a dereference, right? Why can we already do that? Because we already did some witchcraft here which casts the result of this thing already to a pointer of an int, right? And now we can just dereference that. 
go run main.go and now you're gonna have two right perfectly fine uh, and you already see it coming you can do some cool stuff right you could say four y equals zero uh, y smaller than len of our array and i'm going to say y plus plus not c plus plus and then uh, save this for formatting and then we could do something like uh, we're going to say each time we're going to loop we're going to basically offset um, our pointer with um, the iterator times the size of our integer right and that's going to be uh y times and that's not going to work because this y is an integer and we are working here with uh u int pointers so we need to do u int ptr and wrap this little baby in and normally if we do a go run main.go you're going to see beautifully that we have um our values right that's that's pointed arithmetic, right? And you could do some crazy stuff with that, but that's basically completely out of scope because we're already 11 minutes in the video and only three people basically watch this out. Is the sad story of YouTube. But I hope basically this video uh, gives you a little bit more clarity about the unsafe pointers. I could basically spend more and more and more time uh, on how uh, specific use cases, why, why you could use that. Uh, but I think this is going to be fine enough. Hey, feel free to play around with this thing, try to break it, try to do some crazy stuff. And uh, that's the only way you're going to get better, right? Uh, for the people that are not subscribed yet to the channel, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comments um, because still 50% even more are not subscribed to the channel, but they are consuming my beautiful videos, right? So you could do me an enormous favor with that. And don't forget for the people that are willing to learn more, uh, basically willing to be professionally active as a Golang engineer, fulltimegodev.com. And I'll see you in my stream, video, or whatever. Bye-bye.